Saturday yesterday. No. <laughs> Smoked. Fuck my life up. <laughs> Can't put that in. I'll put that in it, don't um, worry about it. I don't know, I'm just self destructive. I just make my life worse every day. Like every other teenager. <laughs> That were a good one, that. I yeah, enjoyed that. <laughs> right, so what do you like doing? I don't know. But... <laughs> <laughs> Where does this go? <laughs> Where is this going? Nowhere. Like my life. Like everybody's life is just going to end up eating grand, isn't it? 10 steps forward, 20 steps back. You think you're doing well and then... <laughs> then you walk you in one day and your boss is shagging your girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> if you had a girlfriend. <laughs> An 18 year old is grown up. Yeah, I know it's grown up, but like... Not in modern world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sound high. <laughs> <laughs> hobbies is uh, you like to go to the gym a lot. Do you want to talk about that? I like to go to the gym. Why do I go to the gym? The same reason you get an haircut, the same reason you do Anything that can be linked back to your social value. I mean, you'll have some people say they go to the gym to get stronger, but they're not. They're going for aesthetic reasons to look better, to just for more attention, just so they don't feel like a clone, a waste of space. Right. So um, everybody has got them coming. Obviously, like um, everybody likes media. So, um, I mean, music, where do you stand on that? Music. Music's amazing. <laughs> All your thoughts in your head can be released and validated through music. Because you might be thinking about a girl or the end of the lying you might think about suicide and if you hear someone else talking about that and expressing that you feel like you're not alone you feel like your thoughts are normal everyone listens to different music everyone's got different thoughts different hobbies different personalities different lifestyles what, what's your preference in music? What do you like? I like swing and jazz. I like fifties. I like the fifties era of America. I like how they were carefree, but they still kept everything under control. They still enjoy themselves. <laughs> the mo three songs that you're listening to the mo at the moment. Like, all right, yeah, I can, yeah, I can do that. Um, just, just gonna hold on to that. Nobody's gonna relate to party rocking in the house tonight. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They might not even live in houses. <laughs> might, there might not even be a future. I've heard that um, everybody's gonna live underwater. Well. <laughs> and your great 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 granddaughter's pretty fine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer. Would I prefer. Spontaneous hobbies that change every month, or hobbies that were set in stone that people could identify with your hobbies. I don't know. I think the spontaneous one sounds kind of cool. Um, I'd like, yeah, I'd like a bit of that. Um, I mean, obviously, it'd be a bit crap if I, obviously, I like going out and then they'd be like, right, we win rock climbing today. I mean, I'm not saying I like rock climbing; it's kind of cool, but like, pick something boring. Right. Let's say I'm like, all oh, right, I want to go out and they go, no, I'm playing balls today. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh, right then, what's well, my day ruined? But um... <laughs> now think about your hobbies five years ago. 
Not room. just you, but everyone watching. So I had a bit of a, a snowboarding phase. Right then, so um, film is a film's a big one. Um, Sometimes you'll just want to watch an action film because you don't want to think about your thoughts, the outside world. You want to be sucked into fantasy and action and what you thought life was like as a kid. It's the good. most recent film I've seen. But that you thought were good, like I, I thought don't... was good. We're talking a few months away, and that's Harry Potter, the finale of Harry Potter. It, a, it was my childhood Harry Potter to do with films, and it ended it. So um. <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Sports. So they're a manly subject. A lot of men like a lot of men like sports. They like partaking in it. They like watching it. What's your view on sports um, as a hobby? My view on sports. It's fun to play. Not so much fun to sit there on a sofa and watch. And watch. Well, that's that's it. You see people watching football. It could be Manchester United versus Man City. Man City will win, and the Man City fans will say we've won. But have you won? You sat on the sofa at home with your beer and you your hands down your pants. Won. You haven't won. You sat there you sat watching there. other people win. I like sports that are weird just because they interest me and it's just fun. What about Chinese, Japanese sports? What about Takashi's Castle? Have you ever watched that? <laughs> yeah. That's great. American football, what do you think of that? Ameri- You're English, do you like American football? I love American football. Why? Um, because it's... I think it's great. It's just... It's, everyone says, like, if you say it's like rugby, everyone gets mad and they go, oh, it's not like rugby, oh. but it is, it's exactly like rugby, but it's just not boring. Yeah, <laughs> they make an event out to it. Yeah, so, yeah, it's like a national thing, like, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying, like, if England's playing rugby, people aren't going to go, oh, look, I want to watch England match, I'm just saying that, like, people are proper so into American football, it's like, a, it's like God. <laughs> And it just it's just so fun just to watch people and this is a bit harsh, just people just knock absolute shit out of each other just for the sake of just pride and glory. Yeah. It's it's just something that I'm I'm glad they believe in it. It's one of your hobbies. That's one of my hobbies, American football, bang that in there. Yeah. You hold them very dear to your heart. Other people see your hobbies as your identity. You see your hobbies as your identity. 